Longshan Tunnel is the main section of the connecting road to the Lantang Hengyun Wai boundary control point. About 4.8 kilometers in length, it will be the longest road tunnel in Hong Kong. The connecting road is 11 kilometers long before interchanges. Fenlan Highway interchange is the largest. The boundary control point is the seventh land based crossing between Hong Kong and the mainland. It occupies 180,000 square meters and will connect with Eastern Shenzhen. The construction of Longshan Tunnel is divided into two sections. The section between Fanling Highway and Lao Shui Heng requires the drill and blast excavation method, which uses explosives to break the hard rock in the area. The rock in the Lao Shui Heng to Loi Tung section is weaker, so a tunnel boring machine can be used. To shorten construction time, both sections were excavated simultaneously. With a diameter of over 14 meters, it is the largest tunnel boring machine of its kind ever used in Hong Kong. This machine can operate under different geological conditions and regulate its excavation mode to maintain the balance of the tunnel face pressure in front of the cutter head. So the excavation progress can be maintained even in different ground conditions. Its system monitor cutter disc wear. The discs are replaced by a robotic arm, reducing the need for manual inspections and repairs, thereby enhancing safety and efficiency. In November 2015, the boring machine started excavating the southbound tunnel from the north portal. In March this year, the machine broke through the end of the southbound tunnel. At Lao Shui Heng, the contractor has excavated a huge cavern that's 40 metres long, 27 metres wide and 23 metres high. It allows a boring machine to turn from the southbound tunnel to the northbound tunnel to continue excavating. The boring machine weighs 3,200 tonnes and is 100 metres long. To turn it around without hitting the cavern requires advanced working methods. We separate the machine into five parts. Each part is put onto a turntable and turned around. The turntable has a diameter of 6 meters and weighs 132 tons. The turning process takes three months. This method was first applied in Hong Kong and is rare around the world. It saves the cost of producing one more machine and enhances the cost effectiveness of the entire project. The south portal of Longshan Tunnel connects with the Fanling Highway interchange. It includes the construction of four viaducts that are 4.3 kilometres long in total. The interchange's construction is the largest and most complicated project among the four interchanges along the connecting road. The interchange crosses Fanling Highway and the MTR East Rail. To reduce the impact of construction work on traffic, the interchange is being constructed by erecting a viaduct segment. The segment lifting frame is used to install the viaduct segment. This segment weighs 46 tons. To ensure the safety of both users, the installation process needs to be completed in two hours overnight. We have to make sure no objects or tools fall from the work performed to the rail and road. Liantang Hun Yun Wai boundary control point will be the seventh land based crossing between Hong Kong and Shenzhen and will be used by passengers and vehicles. The passenger terminal buildings on the Hong Kong and Shenzhen sides are connected by a pedestrian footbridge and integrated as one structure. It is the first boundary control point with direct access facilities, including drop-off areas for private cars, a 400-space public car park, a public transport interchange and a pedestrian walkway connecting to Lin Ma Hung Road. Passengers can go to the new control point directly by public transport, private car, or on foot, which allows for more efficient and convenient travel between the two places. The boundary control point is due for completion by the end of next year. The connecting road will improve the road network in North District. It currently takes 15 minutes to travel from Kaolonghang Fanling to Loi Tong Sha Tao Kok and 30 minutes from Kaolonghang to Heng Yun Wai. With the connecting road, these times will drop to 4 and 8 minutes. The new control point will handle 30,000 passengers and almost 18,000 vehicles per day. It will divert some of the cross-boundary traffic from Mankem control point. 
The boundary control point and its connecting road will significantly reduce the travel time between Hong Kong and eastern Guangdong, Fujian and Jiangxi. This will not only make a better connection between the economic hinterland of Hong Kong and the mainland, but also further reinforce the status of Hong Kong in the Pearl River Delta's regional development.